What labs should you be getting if you're over 40 and a female? Let's talk about this. I'm Dr. Jen, double boarded ob in integrative medicine, your metabolic and hormone expert. And I'm gonna use different terms because oftentimes I have to describe to patients I both am board certified in conventional or traditional medicine, but also in integrative medicine. So some of the labs that I always order on women over 40. So as a traditional ob trained, we typically will order a CBC, so looking at blood count, a CMP, looking at um, you know kidney and liver function and your electrolytes, thyroid test, which usually is a TSH, and then a cholesterol panel. But I do much, much more than that. I take a deeper dive into women's metabolic health because I want to know as a preventative medicine doctor what's coming down the pike, what's going on with someone's health. So I want to be able to pick up an iron deficiency anemia before they feel symptomatic or a thyroid issue before they have thyroid disease. So I look at things a little bit differently. So what are the tests that I also order in addition to those ones that were mentioned? Is one related, first of all, is related to the thyroid panel. I order a full panel. I don't just order a TSH. I want to know what T4 and T3 are doing, both free T3 and free T4, because it gives me a better picture overall of the thyroid health. And if someone's symptomatic, they may have what's called subclinical hypothyroidism, where their labs are not quite uh, where the TSH is elevated, but they're still having symptoms related to thyroid disease. So I want to know that. And oftentimes, if someone has a history of a thyroid problem, I get thyroid antibodies as well. It doesn't take much for me to order those as well. Number two, CRP. So C-reactive protein. It's a marker of inflammation. As we age, inflammation is a big factor for chronic diseases like diabetes, heart disease, Alzheimer's, dementia in general. So I want to know if someone has inflammation in their body so we can dive into where it is located. Three, iron panel. So a full iron panel. I want to know the iron. I want to know the ferritin. I want to know the transferrin rate. I actually want to know what's going on from that perspective because many women suffer from fatigue and hair thinning and um, just don't, and brain fog. And that can very much be an iron issue. Four, I want to do a cardio IQ, which is more advanced cholesterol testing. So instead of just looking at total cholesterol, HDL, LDL, I want to know the particle sizes. So what are the sizes of the LDL particles, the HDL particles? Does someone have ApoB that's elevated or LPA? And so I want to understand a little bit better who is at risk for cardiovascular disease, especially if someone was considering hormone replacement therapy. You want to understand their cardiac risk. And so getting a cardio IQ by Quest is a better test for cholesterol than just the basic standard lipid panel. And then lastly, vitamin D. Vitamin D is so incredibly important. In fact, uh, you know, when we talk about sort of the key vitamins of women over 40, vitamin D and omegas have got to be up in the top. So vitamin D levels, and I prefer vitamin D to be over 40, not what's listed on the Quest sort of panel of 18. I think that's way too low. And most women who have optimized vitamin D do better with their immune system, lower their inflammation. In fact, it ha- there's some really good data looking at muscle and bone health and how crucial vitamin D is. So those are my top labs I get on everyone over 40, um, especially women, to understand their metabolic health early. If you have any questions about those, give them to me in the comments. I'd love to make additional videos about kind of what you should ask your physician for when you go for your yearly exam. 